Aloha from Hawaii. Ali from Palau. Bula from Fiji. Hafade from Guam and the Mariana Islands. Yakwe from the Marshall Islands. Yorana from Tahiti. Kiora from New Zealand. Kia Yorana from the Cook Islands. Malamalele from the Kingdom of Tonga. And Talofa from the islands of Samoa. It's good to see everybody back here again. You are on the Ukulele Dad program. So, so good to see everyone. And this month of October, we continue to be busy as we celebrate the Filipino Heritage Month. Also, Halloween's going to be with us soon. I think there's a lot of ghosts around the neighborhood. Be careful. As well as El Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, which is the time where the people recognize their ancestors. So these are good things. But half a day to all of you from islands of Guam and the Mariana Islands. Um, many islands there in the Mariana Islands. But we're very happy to again recognize all of you today. Now, let me see. Aloha out there to all of our followers and subscribers on Twitch, and we'll be downloading this program also to Facebook and YouTube, so we'll be able to see everybody. Okay, now here comes the hardest part of this program, which is the virtual background. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, that's, that's a little better. <laughs> Because with the other background, it's a little hard to see sometimes. Well, our first song, friends, this is again dedicated to all of our Filipino friends. And this is a very famous song, which was sung by the First Lady of the Philippines, Imelda Marcos, written by Mike Velarde, and also sung by other artists, including Nat King Cole, how about that? <laughs> so here we go. Dahil sayo Nahis kong mabuhay Dahil sayo Ah, 
hillside My heart is ever true Mahalo friends, Dahil Sayo. Yeah, I'm kind of watching here because sometimes this other screen comes on and then we have feedback, but I don't know what happened. I can see myself, but I don't hear anything. <laughs> but hopefully you're hearing something out there, everybody. Very, very interesting, this, <laughs> this is. But um, let me see. Let us take a look now our topic for today and that is related to the topic of play so oftentimes as adults we get a lot of responsibilities and we stopped playing <laughs> but remember that playing is not just for kids it's for adults too helps us to let down the walls stimulate our imaginations and improve our emotional well-being we all need to take some time to kick back, relax, and play. Imagine that. So think about what you do to play. Perhaps it could be related to music, a good thing. It could be related to sports. Maybe it's a board or card game. Or just doing something fun that you like to do. But think about it and schedule a screen-free, everybody, <laughs> screen-free play date with your significant other, your kids, friends. And this will be something to help you out on a regular basis. Again, this is a good time to stretch out and to breathe through the stomach and ask yourself, what do I do to play on a regular basis? And breathe in and out. When can I schedule some time? And breathe in and all the way out. Play is something which will help me in my daily life. All right. So good, friends. That is something very important to remember. Now, I'm going to see what happens if I hit this. It says play. Watch now. Okay, it seems to be working. <laughs> I just don't see much happening out there. <laughs> I think it's muted though. All right. Well, again, I want to keep it muted because if the other screen comes on, then we'll have a lot of feedback on this program. All right. Now, our next song is called Remember Me, and this is in recognition of El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. And this is a um, time of recognition of those who have passed on, our ancestors. So it is a good, good thing. But um, this is a song which comes from the movie Coco. Yes, some of you, we played Un Poco Loco from Coco, but this is a more serious song, everybody. So this is Miguel playing the guitar to Grandma, and Grandma is on the verge of passing away. So this is, a, again, a song that she shares with everybody out there. And uh, yeah, it is a sad song, but um, again, remember our ancestors, and remember their legacies and all they do for us. All right, here we go from the movie Coco. I 
until you're in my arms again. Remember me, que no se alcanza no deje de latir. Solo con tu amor no puedo existir. Que no se alcanza no deje de latir. Solo con tu amor no puedo recuérdame. Te acompañaré Unidos en nuestra canción Contigo y ahí estaré Recuérdame Si sola crees estar Recuérdame Mi cantar te abraza Aún en la distancia Nunca vas a olvidar Recuérdame, if you close your eyes and let the music play, keep our love alive, I'll never fade away. If you close your eyes and let the music play, keep our love alive, I'll never remember me. Remember me, que nuestra canción no deje de latir, solo con tu amor yo puedo existir. Que nuestra canción no deje de latir, solo con tu amor yo puedo existir. Que nuestra canción no deje de latir, solo con tu amor yo puedo. Remember me. All right, everybody, again from the movie Coco, Remember Me. That is our song for El Dia de los Muertos. So, yeah, there's a lot of activity around this day in California. It starts on November the 1st, but I know the Museum of Latin American Art here in Long Beach is going to have a special display in Long Beach, California. So, yep, again, it's great to remember our ancestors and know more about them and what they've done for us. All right, everybody, it is that time right now, so start looking for your ukulele. I know some of you misplaced it. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to be doing our ukulele class, so everybody get ready. And let me see. First, we're going to do a song for Halloween, and that is the Adams Family. So everybody look for that music now. Hopefully you found the Ukulele Dad Facebook page because that's where the music is being posted. I know we've had some trouble with the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. So Facebook, please fix the page like I asked you to, but it's kind of hard. You, you cannot call on the phone and you have to send a message to them on their support chat, but we've been waiting for over a week now. <laughs> So anybody has connections with Facebook, tell them to please fix the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. <laughs> but I did try to post that information in several spots on the NPINE Facebook page and also on my regular Facebook page. So I hope you'll be able to find it somehow. But this song is called The Adams Family. And that comes to us from the uh, movie there. And um, yeah, also a television show, too, before a movie. But we have several chords we're going to learn here today. And again, when we play the ukulele, we strum the ukulele with our right hand. Okay. And I normally use my thumb, but you can use several fingers or all your fingers if you want. I hurt my fingers. That's why I use my thumb. And then our left hand here, this is where we place on the keyboard here. So I'm going to demonstrate this is a finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, and finger number four. One, two, three, and a four. 
And this part of the ukulele, this is fret 1, first section, fret 2, second section, fret 3, third section, and fret 4, the fourth section. So those are the kind of the things you need to know. And the chords, this is where we put our fingers down. So this first chord is called the A chord. So look, we have string 1. That's the one closest to me, also known as the G string. String two, the C string, string three, the E string, and string four, the A string. Okay, so your first finger goes on string two, fret number one. Second finger on string one, fret number two. So, let me show you how that works. So your first finger goes on string two, fret number one. Second finger on string one, fret number two. So that's it. A. All right, you are playing the instrument, everybody. Good. Good job, everybody. Now, let me see here. We have another chord for this song, and that is the C7 chord. Okay, C7. So, here it is. Our first finger is on string number four. Okay, so first finger on string four. So, First finger, string four, fret one. So C7. Good. Good job, everybody. Now, the next chord is called the F chord. And here it is. So for the F chord, our first finger is on string three. And our second finger is on string one, and that forms the F chord, okay? So here we go, first finger string three, second finger string one, F. Good. Yep, you're doing it, everybody. I'm, I'm not surprised, so you're smart. Okay, and then finally, we have our G7 chord, also known as the triangle, because it forms a triangle, okay? So first finger string three, second finger string two, and third finger is on string four to form your triangle. That's fret one, fret two. So first finger string three, second finger string two, and third finger string four. That's the triangle. You did it! Four chords for this song. Now, so let me see here. So our rhythm for this, we start with the C7 and then we go to the F chord. So we go one, two, three, one. And then for this song, you have to go snap, snap. Then for the F chord, we go one, two, three, G7, G7. Snap, snap. Okay, so that's how that first part goes. Then we'll repeat it. And then the last line, it's C7. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here we go. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And after that, we just play normal pretty much. We just F, G7, C7. That's pretty much how the song goes and then we'll, we'll have another part there where we do the snapping part yep so that'll be in the middle of the song all right and then at the end we do we do some more of that snapping all right so here we go the Adams family written by Vic Mizzy no relation to me okay <laughs> here we go one, two, and. They're all together. 
did it. <laughs> so that's our first song of the day, The Adams Family. And again, take some time to find the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. And you can look up all the music, the chord charts, as well as we record YouTube videos and put it on there. All right. Now, I did have one other thing I need to share with you, everybody. Because our topic for today is related to the topic of anger or understanding anger. So here we go. Well, we all experience it for many reasons. And we cannot always control anger. But sometimes we feel better at the moment when we're angry. However, in the long term, it doesn't really help. Because anger can strain relationships. We can become physically ill from anger, suffer financial losses, and we can do physical damage to ourselves and others. So that's the definition of what it is. So ask yourself, what can I do to manage anger? Okay. And then if I get angry, what can I do again to kind of overcome it? And well, and sometimes to make restitution with ourselves and others. So that is the big question for this week. And next week, we will talk more about what we can do to address it. Because it is something that we, again, need to work on every now and then. It's, it's not helpful. Okay, good. Now, we are going to go on to one more song. But um, let me see. This is actually a song we did last week, so I hope that all of you were practicing. <laughs> but, well, if you didn't, that's okay. We'll do it right now. So this is part two of our song called The Rainbow Connection. Okay, The Rainbow Connection. And this is by Kermit the Frog and Jim Henson. Okay. So last week we did learn our chords, and uh, so let me review them with you. Some of them we just did right now, so let me just share with you. They are the C7 chord, okay, first finger on string four, we just played that. And then also the F chord. So first finger on string three and second on string one. So keep those in mind because we'll be using those in this song. Now, got a couple more, then we're going to start playing. All right. This next one is called the G minor 7 chord, okay? G minor 7. So look at the G7 chord, which is the one we just learned. And you see how the first and the second, or in this case, the third finger are right there in those spots. And then for the G minor 7, your second finger actually moves up to string four. So they're kind of similar, huh? All right. So let's talk about G minor seven again. First finger is on string three. Second finger is on string four. And third is on string two. Okay. So here we go. First finger string three. Second string four. And third is on string two. Now let's play it. G minor seven. Good. And then our last one, we actually learned this last week, but I'm sure some of you forgot. <laughs> this is the D7, the simple chord, because this is the easy version. First finger string one, second finger is on string three, on fret two, okay, fret two. So first finger string one, second finger string three, fret two, five, six, here we go. Good. That's D7 simple. And then if you remember, we also have D7 complicated. So our first finger goes all the way across fret 2. Second finger is on string 4, fret 3. So first finger, second finger. So let's look. So again, first finger comes all the way across like that. It forms a bar. Okay. And then second finger's right there. Let's play D7 complicated. Here we go. That's it. All right. 
So, this again is the song The Rainbow Connection, and this is part two. We're going to play through this through one more time. Now, this is kind of a long song, and we got a page turn, so I like to put my little clip here. <laughs> All right, so here we go. One, two, and F. G minor 7. F. G minor 7. F. C7. Here we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? What's on the other side? Rainbows are visions. with this song explains it all <laughs> well friends let me see here let me go to the final slide here and hopefully I won't cut myself off like I did last time <laughs> but this slide will explain uh, what we got coming up here okay let's see yep I think this might be it yeah so friends, we will see you next Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific Time. I also have my show School Talk Story with Dr. Key on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific Time. And finally, at 7 p.m. Pacific Time on November 3rd, as well as December 1st, we'll be doing Ohana Night, and we will be live streaming that from the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue restaurant in the city of Lakewood. That's 5316 Clark Avenue in Lakewood, California. So yep, if you're in the area, drop in. But if not, we will catch up with you on the third 
Yeah, a couple times now. We're going to see you in this time and also in the evening. So keep practicing, everybody. You can be part of our concert. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. The Aloha song, everybody. And again, adios from Guam and the Mariana Islands. of Samoa. Well, it's always a pleasure to be with all of you, everybody, and we will catch up with you next time, and do me a favor, take some aloha to the world. Take care.